got you now. It's looking good. Over. Roger, copy. You're a doe. A man's at his most dangerous when he doesn't have anything. Because when a man's got nothing, he's got nothing to lose. Except for his freedom. This is Makatawa State. And this here is Les Danube. All Les ever had was his brother Mo. And all Mo Danube had was contempt for authority. It wasn't long before prison hospitality wore thin on the Danubes. And after a year, they'd had enough. It took the coroner a half an hour to pry that garden tool from the prison guard's skull. Eyewitness reports had the Danubes headed west as the warden Buck Hutchison led the hunt for the convicts himself. Now, if timing is everything, that's just another thing the Dan Hughes didn't have. Because on this eve of Halloween, 1938, there was something in the air, and it was about to descend on the Dan Hughes. We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than man. They were scrutinized and studied. Minds that are to our minds, as ours are to the beasts in the jungle, regarded this earth with envious eyes, and slowly and surely drew their plans against it. No. Mo! Dogs! Mo! Dogs! Mo! Be quiet! Dogs! Well, there's them dogs down at the water. We got it now. Hold on. <laughs> Gentlemen, we interrupt our program of dance music to bring you a special bulletin from the Intercontinental Radio News. It is reported that at 8.50 p.m., a huge flaming object fell on a farm 22 miles from Trent. The flash in the sky was visible within a radius of several hundred miles. The noise of the impact was heard as far north as Elizabeth. We have dispatched a special mobile unit to the scene. And we'll have our commentator, Carl Phillips, give you a word picture of the scene as soon as he can reach there. Mind your supper, Jack. Nice shot, partner. You know, son, you've been given something special there. Not quite sure what you can make of it, though. Applesauce? <laughs> well, you won't be wanting for supper then. All right. If it's a fight you're looking for, you found it. People are trying to run away from it, but it's no use. After you apologize to Colonel Jitters, I want you to do me a favor, all right? I'm going to go up and say night to Mom. It had been the better part of a year since the break-in, but young Jack wanted revenge more than ever. See, these criminals took a whole lot more than just a baseball. They also took his mother's life. Hey, Paul, what's the favor? Well, hold down the fort, of course. Tell me to be 
be quiet, but you almost broke my foot on that damn tree back there. Well, I've been thinking. Well, thank God for that. Yeah, well, I'm heading home. Les, don't start that shit with me. Not right now, goddammit. Now, look, I ain't got time for that shit. Bring now, that boat I back over here. Bring Curly it right now. give us our jobs back. And do what? Shovel horse shit for 15 hours a day? Now, look, you, we can't go back home. You know that. Besides, we're going out to California, where there's beaches, and the starlets have titties the size of grapefruits. You know what I'm talking about. And just a, a whole bunch of really neat shit. We can have a boat and fish. Yeah, Les, we can have a boat and fish. Now, will you bring that goddamn boat back over here so we can go? Here, hold that. Hold that right there. Now, hold my foot. Goddamn it.